have we done all we can to harness what we have to tackle an apparently insoluble problem? This film will tell you about very simple methods to address the problem of water. Low-cost methods that can easily be used by local people utilizing locally available natural resources as part of an overall strategy of watershed development. Rain in India falls with great intensity for a few hours on a few days in the monsoon months. When it rains, it really pours. Rainwater in this limited period largely flows away as heavy runoff. Watershed development involves a series of steps to stop this rainwater where it falls. To make it walk rather than run. To make it walk slowly below the ground. And not allow water to flow away rapidly over the terrain. This way, the same water becomes available for a longer period of time within the village. A watershed area can be visualized as a landscape, shaped unevenly like a bowl or basin. When it rains, water flows down from the top of this bowl to collect at the bottom. So the hills, valleys, forests and fields that encircle the falling rain and guide it to streams and rivers all form the enclosure that is the watershed, the catchment area where a river catches its water. Within a watershed, the slopes falling from the ridge are called the ridge area. The many channels that flowing rainwater drains into are called drainage lines. Woven into the contours of nature, Watershed treatments aim to reduce the speed of runoff. These interventions are very location specific, varying with differences in slope, catchment and soil. When running water is halted at regular intervals, it traps silt, reducing soil erosion. The local soil moisture profile also improves, providing greater sustenance to vegetation. Water that is stopped by watershed structures helps recharge of groundwater. Below the ground, this water appears as base flows that raise the water table in wells downstream. They also increase the life of streams and help refill dams more than once.
wells and dams become a sustainable source of irrigation in the village, greening landscapes and improving livelihoods. The most important interventions in any watershed program are the earthen dams built on the mainstream of the watershed. When built in the upper reaches, they act as percolation ponds that help recharge dams and wells downstream. When made near the farms, their water is directly used for irrigation. 